Oh, man. Okay, we hit that guy at least. He's almost down as well. And I'm still having a hard time with this Churchill. There we go, though. He put his lower plate in front of us. And I utilized that time to take him out. Now, this guy, he's done as well. See you later, sucker. How's it going guys? Dre here and today we're going to war. A uh, tank war because we're checking out World of Tanks. Now I gotta say uh, I'm not really checking this out. I've actually been playing this game since 2010 quite casually uh, but I indeed have been playing throughout the years and enjoying this game. Now Wargaming actually reached out to me which is the developers behind this game and asked if I could do a sponsored video on it. And I was like of course I could. I play it for fun anyway so that is the perfect game in my opinion for a sponsored video. So this is my personal account. We're just going to check out the game today. I'm going to show you some of the different classes in the game and kind of how it works. Now I will say this is actually a pretty complex game. We're not going to go too into detail regarding, you know, deep strategies of this game. I'm just going to show you what you can expect getting into it and give you some beginner tips from a beginner himself on how to be better on the battlefield. So let's get into it and do some tanking. So before we go directly onto the battlefield, I just want to quickly explain the five tank types in this game. These are the, I guess you could call them the classes in World of Tanks. First of all, what we're looking at right now is a heavy tank. This is generally going to be your most armored tanks, as well as they usually have some of the best weapons on them. The downside of these guys is they are usually extremely slow. Next up, let's move to a medium tier tank. So this is kind of the middle between a light tank and a heavy tank. It's kind of a good jack of all trades uh they're usually quite fast they have a decent weapon on it and okay armor they generally are just an all-around good tank so if you like doing a bunch of different things medium tanks are probably your weapon of choice and then we got the light tanks these are going to be the fastest smallest tanks in the game usually they don't have a huge weapon on them they are built for speed they actually play kind of like scouts in this game their job is to go out spot the enemy so our bigger guys can take them out uh, and that's generally how a good light tanker plays, but not all light tanks are scouts either. What I haven't mentioned yet is there's actually over 400 tanks in this game, so each tank kind of plays a little bit differently. But generally, as a rule of thumb, light tanks are usually scouts. Then you move on to your tank destroyers. These ones, well, this one's a pretty interesting one, uh, nicknamed the toaster for obvious reasons. It looks like a toaster. These are basically your snipers in the game. They usually don't have a turret on the top, so they can't rotate. What you want to do with these things generally is stick in the back lines, pick off enemies, and uh, use your huge weapon to your advantage because usually you don't have any armor. But uh, some ones do. We got the uh, Jag Panther here. This one's pretty good. This is also a tank destroyer, just a different style of one. And then you can get some weird ones like we have the Scorpion G here, which actually has a rotatable turret on top, but it still is considered a tank destroyer. Now, the final one that we have, I don't actually do any of it. Uh, we have artillery as well. These are the eyes in the sky. You actually play totally different when you're artillery. You're dropping artillery on the enemies from far, far away, usually right by the base. So you set up and then you support your team. And that's the five major different tanks in the game or the major different tank types. All right, so let's waste no more time and get into some gameplay. So I'm just going to show you guys some different classes as well as different tiers because there's tiers in this game that go from tier 1 to tier 10. The higher the tier, the better the tank generally. Uh, my highest tank is a tier 8, so we're going to try the VK100 here, and then we'll try something in the middle, and we'll try something small, and you can kind of see the different styles of gameplay. All right, so here's our first battle. We got all our tank buddies behind us. Now, what I usually do at the start is just kind of analyze the enemies, see what they uh, have, and see what we have. Now, looking at the team right now, I am one of the highest tiers of heavies on our team. We have another 112 as well, which is also a tier 8. Uh, so I want to play this pretty aggressively. We don't have any tier 9s or tier 10s to worry about. Uh, so I should be able to utilize my armor and bounce a lot of enemy shots. So we're going to go to the city. That's generally where uh, you want to go as a heavy tank because you're really slow. Use those walls to your advantage and uh, see how good you can do. We actually got an enemy out here, as you can see. They're already within range and... Uh, we could probably try and take a shot off, but there's no real sense. Unless you get lucky, that is, of course. Actually, look at this. We got a little cockroach in the woods over there. Let's see. Oh, we missed him. That would actually would have killed him there if we would have hit him. 
All right, Mr. E25 is dead over there, so he did end up dying. Do we have visual on this J Panther? No, he's behind the uh, pill bunker over there, so we're not going to be able to get any of them. We got to get into the city, help out my teammates here, because it's looking like we're having a pretty good war over here. So, do I help and go follow the T29 or move up with this IS? I think I'm going to move up with the IS into the middle. All right, and my sixth sense just went off. That means they have visual of me. I have that notification now, and uh, we do have to watch out for that. But it's looking like, ooh, we do got a low guy over here. Sixth sense went off again. No big deal, though. Let's see if we can get a pot shot off on this guy over here. There we go, 440. Unfortunately, that gave uh, this tiger over here visual of me. I didn't even realize they were over there. Uh, but yeah, they weren't on our radar. All right, let's move back and help this T29 a bit. It looks like he's pushing back due to this Type 59 over here. So I'm going to try and get some uh, support shots in the back. Uh, use this rubble to my advantage here. See if we can kind of see them. There we go. And perfect. That's what you want. A nice side shot to the T29. All right, we got a delicious tiger that does not even see me. And how did I not damage him at all? I probably should have aimed a bit higher. I must have ricocheted off his tracks there. Uh, that's a little embarrassing, but hey, it happens to the best of us. So we got a nice reload coming up. Let's get ready and prepare. Hey, there you go. Now we got the shot off. Type 59 behind us. I'm um, picking on this IS. Let's see if we can help out. Oh, oh, oh. We got multiple people here. And waiting for the reload. Hit that bottom. What's he doing? There you go. Somebody hit him off. Come on. He's got 96 health left. Hopefully this T29 will take him. Actually, the IS took him. We got another AMX low health over here. Let's see if we can go get this guy. All right. Taking a risk. Never mind. He... I think the artillery just got him. I'm not too certain. But we got this... Uh, 1-1-10 over here. This is one of the biggest enemy heavy tanks, so we want to get him out if we can. Actually, where's the... Oh, we got another guy coming up. Uh, oh, of course he stops, and I jumped the gun on that shot a little bit when he stopped, so that was a mistake. All right, but we're back. He's fighting somebody else, so he doesn't even notice me over here. We just put two shots in. He's on fire. He used his fire extinguisher really, really quickly, though, so he wasn't able to die. We got a 110 coming out over here. Let's see if I can... Uh, oh, I, I did not mean to do that. I pulled back for the IS, and uh, I definitely let him die due to this thing. So let's see if we can take him down. That's 501. I haven't gotten any kills yet, but you got to look at the damage done right now. I have done a lot. We just bounced that shot off him, so I'm going to push up. Be aggressive here. We got three seconds on our re reload, and this guy is not going to be too happy about that because he is dead. All right, looks like we are taking over the city, which is good. The IS just went down. They have four people left. We have four people left. It's a pretty close game right now. Uh, I'm one of the highest health. So we got an SU with uh, a lot of health as well and two very low guys. So the pressure's on for me to do well. We got an IS-3 over there. If you look at the map, the map's important. Uh, oops, I, ju I just got visual, so we got to watch out for that because we don't know where they are. I know they're somewhere over here. They might move over to this direction, though. So I'm going to kind of hug this wall here. We got the IS-3 coming up. I'm going to take a risk. I might get shot here, but I want to help out my low uh, teammates over here, especially the SU. Okay, and unfortunately, the SU went down, so we're down to two on four. Uh, this SU over here is really low, though, so I, I want to use this cover to my advantage. They have to come here anyways, so there's no point in me going out and getting shot and losing all my health. This SU should come somewhere down here, I'm thinking. The unfortunate part is me and the other SU are away from each other. We definitely don't want to let that happen for too long because these guys can overrun us. Uh, this is gonna be a really good... Oh, Jesus. There we go. That's what I didn't want to see. We did block it, though. So we got artillery out there. We blocked a 700 shot. That was, uh, close. All right. I need to make a play because this guy is just wasting my time. So we got this IS-3 over here. I'm gonna let this guy try and catch up to me. He definitely will be able to, but, uh, he's gonna push up as well. I know this IS-3 is over here, so we should get the shot off. Oh, he's hiding behind us. Oh, God. Okay, this isn't good. I am in the middle of two people. I shouldn't have done this. Uh, this is a simple rookie mistake here. God, I missed him. Okay, I have 597 health left. I need to go. And we're down. No. <laughs> that was all my fault. I, that, I was the final one, though, on four. If we would have held out a little bit better, I guess that strategy at the end was not the best. And I will admit that. 
Again, I'm a casual player, but we didn't do awful either. How did we end up doing here? Well, we're the top of our team in terms of points, so that's good enough for me. We got one kill there, but we did do the most damage. Actually, did we do the most damage? We had one close. The SU-101, the last guy that was with us, did the same amount of damage, basically, as us. We didn't get a lot of kills, but we put a lot of shots in a lot of people, so I'm pretty happy with that play. Uh, Would have been nice to win it, though, of course. Hopefully, we can change that around now. All right, so we tried something big and slow with a big gun. Let's go to the exact opposite just to see how the gameplay is drastically different. I'm going to use the E25. This is one of my favorite tanks to use just because of how fun it is to play. Uh, now, this one is extremely fast. It has a small gun. Uh, it does, doesn't do actually that much damage, but it has a really fast reload. So it plays so much different than even most uh, tank destroyers as well. And this is a tank destroyer, by the way. So let's get out. This one's also tier 7, so I would argue that that's kind of mid-tier. Tier 8 and above is definitely high tier. All right, we're on Abbey now. Uh, this is, uh, wow, this is not going to be very fun for me because there's so many lines on this map. You can't, like, sneak behind enemy lines. So I don't really even know where to go with this one. Looking at the enemy team, we also have two E25s on the other side. Uh, no more E25s on our team. So we got to remember that there's going to be two tanks like us out there. Uh, and you do want to watch out for that because they're going to play very, very similar. I'm going to go, well, my teammate's telling me to go up to the top snipe point, And that's really the best option for this little guy. So let's head up there. All right, so you can see how fast we are. If you look at the map, you can see uh, how slowly the other tanks spread around. We're already getting into placement uh, so we can prepare for any visuals, especially in the middle here. Uh, I doubt we're going to see anybody because of the city, but this would be a good spot to hang out. I might push up a bit, though. I'm going to wait for my bigger guys to come and support me, though. Ooh, actually, there's an E25 right there. I shouldn't have shot that because I just gave my place away. I got excited, and I regret that. And I regret that one, too. Aha! There we go. We helped out that one. We got the Hellcat down. Uh, so, yeah, you got to take shots quick, man, because uh, your teammates will take them really quickly as well. All right, it's looking like uh, we do have a T-150 up ahead, as you can see. Uh, we got lots of teammates here, though, so I'm going to try and get into visuals, see if I can help these guys out. I'm going to go around the long side. Hopefully, I don't get shot here. This is going to be risky, but if I can go to the other side, I can stay out of the, ra out of the way of my other tanks. All right, he just shot, so we know he's reloading. Let's see if we can utilize that. Oh, he just pulled across. Uh, actually, I do have visual of him just... Uh, but you can see the red zone. That is not a zone to be in. He's trying to sneak out. Oh, he hit me. Okay, let me see if I can get another shot. All right, I pulled back just in case. I did not think I'd be in visual. All right, push up with the big boys. They took him down. We only got a couple shots off, but there is a snipe point up here that I'm excited to get to because that's where I should shine. Uh, oh, t 150s almost down. He's only got six health. Come on, we can go get him. Uh, they're definitely going to get that shot before me, aren't they? Maybe not. I could get greedy here. All right. Oh, you... Jerk! Oh, man, I, I, I had it. Uh, may, maybe I got in his way. I'm not too sure. I got excited, and then he hit me and uh, obviously rotated my tank, so I couldn't get that shot off. All right, but over here, we might get a good visual. Oh, that is uh, artillery there. He, he's he's going to get him. I'm not even going to try and get that guy. Have fun. Uh, is he going to get him? Defender, come on. You can do it. Just just got to shoot him. One. Oh, my God. Is he gonna, don't tell me he's going to get away. All right, maybe I should go help. Because uh, I don't know how much is going to be back here. So, yeah, the defender literally let that guy get away. Uh, I thought he would have took him, but he didn't. So, I got to go get this M44 now. It's all up to me. Because the last thing you want to do is let an artillery uh, run free. That is not a good thing. Okay, and he did end up getting it after all. All right, so let's pull up. We got a cockroach over here. Uh, I might even... Yeah, let's rush up on him. All right, there we go. He's too busy. I'm just going to... Auto aim here. Oh, a 460. Not bad. Not bad. And get him. Get him. Get him. Got the cockroach. And that's generally how you want to meet a cockroach because they are dangerous if you do let them get a few shots off. They can do a lot of damage, as we saw with my 400 shot there. All right. We might have a good visual here. This might be a really good spot. Uh, looking at the map, though. No, they're behind the mountain, so we got to go meet them. All right, I got to get out of this city. I didn't realize there was only, like, one road in, but there we go. I don't even think... Yeah, we're not even going to probably have time to get over there to get any shots off, but we did all right. Oh, my God, I just ran into a tree. Uh, I was just saying how we did all right, and clearly I'm a drunk driver. Drunk tanker? Is this is this driving? I, I, I have no idea. All right, let's see if we can help out, though. Oh, actually, I could have got a visual. Let's see if we can catch up to this IS. Uh, we can utilize our speed to our advantage and hopefully help take out these final two guys. 
All right, so keep to the distance. There we go. And start going crazy. Got him. Don't want to hit our teammates. That's the last thing you want to do. And just keep bothering him as he's bothering this other guy. There we go. We got the destroy on that one. And that was the final kill as well. So two kills, a little over a thousand damage. Not too bad for a little old cockroach. All right, and let's head this off with some American muscle. We got the M3 Lee here. This is a medium tank. It's a tier four, so it's kind of at the small end of uh, low tiers. I actually don't prefer anything lower than tier four. It just gets kind of weird in those tiers, especially with all the interesting tanks going about. So I'm going to do tier four. We'll see how good we can do. And uh, I've never really played. Well, I played this very little. So uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a learning experience for me, too. Okay, we're on Ruinburg. Uh, this is actually a really good map. I like this one. Looking at the team right now, we are low tier right now. It's tier 4 and 5, so we got to acknowledge that that uh, there's going to be a lot of tanks that are going to be stronger than us. And I also got to acknowledge that I have very little experience in this tank. And what a weird tank this is. Uh, it's a medium tank without a turreted gun, and the gun is on the right-hand side of the tank. That will have its benefits and its downsides. First of all, you can side scrape walls really, really well uh, and just poke out the right-hand side of your tank. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go try and go into the city here, help out some of our bigger guys. Uh, for example, this BDRG1B. I've never seen that tank before. Uh, see if we can help him out. I don't really know. I mean, he's obviously a heavy tank, but does he have armor? I don't know, it's hard to tell. That's a cute looking tank, man. All right, but even, like, look at the size of this thing. This is such a weird tank because uh, usually medium tanks are rather small. Uh, I'm bigger than this damn heavy over here, and uh, I'm only a medium. So, like I said, I want to use this right-handed turret or this right-sided turret to my advantage so we can hide most of my tank behind, for example, this rock face, and then just poke out my uh, turret. And uh, so you can utilize this and try and make its weirdness to your advantage by hiding the vast majority of your tank. Now, it doesn't look like anybody's probably going to come down here. This actually isn't a good place to be. Let's move up to the middle. And it's looking like it's going to be pretty crazy over here. Uh, I'm going to try and... Ooh, man, that guy's got a big front hull. Let's see if we can get a shot off. There we go. And that one's down. Now, it's going to be a little bit more crazy and fast-paced because we're so low tier right now. Usually, tanks don't last as long as they used to. Oh, oh, this guy's side-scraping, so he's trying to bend his armor. So it lasts as long as possible. We had a, a pretty bad shot here, but we are able... Okay, there's a red zone. So you see the V? I don't know if I told you guys this, but uh, it basically, if it's red, that means you're not going to penetrate. If it's green, you're definitely going to penetrate as long as he's not going crazy here. Oh, man, look at the accuracy of this gun. is pretty interesting. We got this Lux here that's uh, in front of us. We should be able to hold this out at least. I don't think anybody's going to push up on anybody because it's three on three right now. Actually, it's two on three, isn't it? Okay, I do have a shot on a little small part of its tank. Unfortunately, this gun is very inaccurate. I'm quickly finding out. So, uh, trying to hit these guys is not easy. This Churchill's almost down, though, so I think I might actually pull out and see if I can get a good view on a shot here. Wow, there really isn't that many spots. Thankfully, I got a quick reload, so... Oh, man, okay, we hit that guy at least. He's almost down as well, and I'm still having a hard time with this Churchill. There we go, though. He put his lower plate in front of us. And I utilized that time to take him out. Now, this guy, he's done as well. See you later, sucker. And we pushed up this line. But looking at the map, we have a B1 behind us. I'm actually going to pull back a little bit. I don't want to go out there because we don't know what's out there. And there might be a lot of enemies. We got a lot of teammates over here. So let's utilize our strength in numbers and help these guys out. Now, unfortunately, my turret's on the right-hand side of this tank. So I have to make my whole tank go out if I want to do a shot over here which is a little bit of a downside, but hey, at least we can help out. It looks like this Chi is uh, kind of trying to leave as well. He's getting a little scared. Okay, that guy's down. I wasn't able to get in range. Oh my God, that was artillery that almost hit me. Let's hit this SU over here if we can. All right, he's just looking at me. This is what you don't want to do. I think I'm actually, oh, is he going to reload? Oh, thank God. That was a stupid play on my part because he probably could have got me. That artillery almost got me here. I am not able to repair. Actually, I should be able to. Let's actually... Oh, because it's two things. I'm going to repair my engine here so we keep our speed up. Oh. Oh, we got this guy right here. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have visual? Yes, we do. And there we go. We took that guy out. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy there. It's a good thing I didn't, like, just go right up and try and kill him. So we're on three kills here. Not too bad for low-tier gameplay. And uh, I think I'm just going to hold out here. Oh, they're actually capping our point. Let's go try and get this Lux. 
Lux is down. Never mind. No interest in that. We got a T67. If you look at the map out here, there's somebody. Oh, actually, I think I just spotted. Yes, I did. SU. This is probably going to kill me. But uh, if I can get a shot off on this artillery, we are golden. Oh, God. It's, it's, it's got me. I can't see visual, but I might actually be able to kill him. Did I kill him? No idea. Let's move away, though, because he's got visual of me. All right, so let's move up with the grill here. This is artillery, so he should be able to at least support us. But I'm basically dead at this point. So if I get spotted, it's going to be good game. And uh, we do got this artillery over here. I'm going to go see if I can ID it. So at least if I die, the artillery should be able to get him. We also got the IKV-103 over here to help us out. All right, there it is. We spotted it. It's behind this wall. Uh, I don't think I'm going to pop out because this IKB-3 should get it. Oh, he actually shot, so let's do it. He's going to have time to reload now, and bam! There we go. We got that one. They got three guys left on four. I want to see if I can get another shot off. Oh, my God! My teammate! Good thing that wasn't me because I would have been dead there. Uh, so we still got the T-67 artillery somewhere out here. Looks like he's shooting off, so we must have visual somewhere. Oh, I could get shot here. This could be dangerous. This is when I like playing this game, though. When I'm one shot away from dying and I keep getting kills because it feels great. Now, I should probably stay with my teammates. Uh, the grill... Okay, everybody's pretty much low, so... We're really not gonna have a strength in numbers situation here. Let's see. Anybody down here? I'm so dead if they are. What I want to do is possibly go cap their base, but uh, we gotta work together to do that. It looks like... Oh, actually, we're having... Uh, a friendly base capture here. So maybe that means one of them's over there. That means there's only two over here. Let's see if we can take out uh, one of these guys and stop this from happening. If my teammates come, we should be able to cap faster than them. And we do got this IKV-103 here. Unfortunately, he's being shot from somewhere where I don't know. Okay, we do have our artil artillery. Sorry, no, that's a, that's a tank destroyer over there. And the Martyr, which is a rather good tank. We hit him, but obviously he got his first shot off perfectly. And we lost that. Four kills, though. That feels great. I want to see if my teammates will be able to take this. It's looking like it's not going to... Well, it's two on two, but they have the pressure of trying to either cap or go save their base. Unfortunately, it looks like these guys are not rushing to save the base. The Lux is going to try and cap. The Grill needs to go with him if they want to stand a chance here. Uh, and I don't think he's going to do that. So this is... Uh, Kind of what you don't want to do. We have time to go back to the base. At least the Lux does. And he really needs to do that. He's going to try and get the T-67, though. So really all we can hope for right now is Lux gets the spot so the Grill can take the kill. We only got 17 seconds, so unfortunately they capped our base and it's looking like it's not good. We have artillery over there. Don't got to really worry about that. We need to go to the base really, really quickly. It's too little too late, though, and unfortunately... They didn't move sooner. And there we go. That's another way to win in this game. You can capture the bases. Man, I really wish that was a good run. I felt good, though. We got four kills. I'm happy with that. Let's see if we got any awards here. All right, so we got a Mastery 2 class, which means we were 80% better, or we were in the top 20% of tankers that use this tank. We got Fighter, we got Master Gunner, and Fire for Effect. These are just extra things you can work towards. Uh, in terms of team score, let's see how we did. Again, top of the team. Didn't do the most damage, but we got the most XP, so we were helping out the most, uh, mostly due to those kills. All right, guys, and I think we're going to wrap up this one here. So that was a good crash course into what World of Tanks is all about. Now, the developers were nice enough to also give you guys something as well. If you guys are interested in this game, I didn't really mention it's totally free, by the way. This is a free-to-play game. Links will be in the description for everything regarding downloading the game and playing it if you do want to. But the developers were also nice enough to sponsor this video, and the first 300 viewers who use the code World War II Tanks get three. Three days of premium time, 500 gold, and a free premium tank, which will be perfect for you to level up your crews and start out in the World of Tanks universe. 
So again, that code will be across the screen now, and it will be in the description of this video. If you do want to join up and try out World of Tanks, now is a good time to do it because you get a few benefits as well. Also, when you see this video, I'm going to be live streaming World of Tanks, starting off a new tree and starting from the bottom. I would love for you guys to platoon with me and work together in trying out this game. So when you're done this video and hear this message and you still want more, feel free to join me on Twitch. Link will be in the description where you can play with me and level up your tanks as well. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see any more of this, by the way, because obviously I'm pretty passionate about this game. I do like it, and I'd love to play more for you guys if you did enjoy watching it. So yeah, I hope to see you on Twitch right now, guys, where we can play some more and have some fun. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.